But at the end of the day, Canada's infrastructure bank is a crown corporation. Yeah. Justin Trudeau doesn't have the authority to just sell that to some fucking guy. <laughs> no. Like, I get it. Yeah, oh, Rob yeah. Carbone, he fucking, I'm just going to sign the banks over to him. Dude, you can't just do that. You can't do no, that. Okay. Here we go. Another update on, well, we got Chris Sky here, but this is a Robert Carbone update, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. This is these guys are working together now, you know. They're working the well, you know. We all know that they've this been is... they've been together for a while, but now we know that Chris Sky is getting a position in the organization. It's nepotism, right? Because we know that this is his son. This is Robert Carbone's son, as self-described, Ooh. right? This is Robert who's earthquake over here, bro. There's an earthquake at Carl's house. Um, so, <clears throat> so yes, Chris Sky has an update for us. We saw this after a live stream. And uh, and uh, t- we had we have some people sending it to us. They're waiting for an update. They were waiting to see what the fuck this is. Apparently, and, they uh, want to see our reaction on this one. Yeah. So let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna actually uh, give me a second here. All right. I promised retaliation after what they've done to me, and here it is. I'm going to blow the lid off something that they do not want you to know and that nobody else in the entire world can inform you upon. Okay, so he's got a scoop, Carl. No one else. Breaking news. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Exclusive. By the way, you can buy this amazing muscle shirt with Trump in the forefront, Robert Carbone in the background. In the back. That's where he belongs. Yeah. Uh, kicking Justin Trudeau while he's at the podium as if Trump's still in power and um, and has any and cares about Trudeau. This is Rob Carbone's house right now. And I came here because we just received a document from Mr. Justin Trudeau himself. This is the federal envelope that it came in. This is from is Justin this Trudeau. What are they trying to hide? From he you? sent it personally. <laughs> it <was> like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. He wrote the letter. He put it in the mailbox. Justin Trudeau sent it to us, bro. He paid for the stamp. We've got connections. Yeah, he paid for the stamp. This document right here shows the registration. Now we have this document. We'll, you know, this is in reverse, but we'll we'll look at it. Of the Canadian Infrastructure Bank, the bank that controls all the banks in Canada. And it shows Justin Trudeau signing off on the man who's in charge of all of these banks. The man who's in charge of the real Canadian banking system. The man who should be in charge of our country, Mr. Rob Carbone. Mr. Rob Carbone. Rob Carbone is going to be in charge. What did he say? This man who's in charge of the banks. Yeah, listen to this. In Canada. And it shows Justin Trudeau signing off on the man who's in charge of all of these banks. The man who's in charge of the real Canadian banking system. The man who should be in charge of our country. Mr. Rob Carbone. His name is on this document, and I will post this official document, authorized and signed by Mr. Justin <laughs> Trudeau, our Prime Minister, proving exactly what I'm telling you, that nobody else in the world has access to. And why- So, yeah, so he's, uh, Robert Carbone, right? Yeah. Is in charge. So he's a billionaire, first of all, we know this. Well, he, yeah, uh, so he's good with money. So he's now, good. Trudeau thought, well, we got this billionaire, he's great with money he's actually you know many times more wealthy than trump Mm -hmm. this guy must be good with money we sign over all of canada's banks to him he can fix it up he can fix it up after all like he hates us so we're gonna give this bank like he hates you know rob carbone hates justin trudeau um and uh, he want he's planning to kick him out yeah so what you want to do when somebody hates you is give him control of the banks yeah i wonder and um (laughs) how that happened uh, Where are the cops really at my house with an entire police force trying to illegally kidnap me and basically disappear me? COVID. I really think it's because this it's is just... It's because you love maple syrup too much. Oh, the maple syrup. He went in and he grabbed a bottle of maple syrup. It was the... He even bra- bought the store brand. It was the store brand. And they just went in and uh, they they attacked him because it's really... You know, we have a shortage of maple syrup. We can't just give it to you know and chris guy look at his body he he take he takes in too much maple syrup in his body we gotta stop him no you gotta I pump those calories man you gotta bulk yeah. up no i'm serious i really think um 
it's because of this authoritarian thing with uh, COVID and you're making a big fuss, all these videos and they, you know, they wanted to stop you from, you know, I don't, so yeah, I don't, I don't buy this bank thing. He's trying to make it out that video where all the cops were. Wait, wait, because... wait. You don't think he owns all the banks? Not, well, you're yeah. You're telling me. No, wait a minute. He doesn't uh, that's not what bank? I said. That's not what I said. I said that I don't think that that's why the cops were there. Of course he owns the oh. banks. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come out and say it. The real reason is because Mr. Rob Carbone wants me to be the Minister of Finance for the Republican Party of Canada. Nepotism. Now, would... now, the Minister of Finance. Now, I know Carbone has been um, fairly critical of people for being too parliamentarian. Right? He doesn't like the parliament. No. Um. You understand that there will be no ministers under a Republican system, right? He knows. Like the minister thing that that's like kind of comes with parliament, right? Mm. Like I'll be carbone here. Listen, uh, we're going to have to jump uh, through a few hoops, right? When we get into office, it's not going to be a Republican system right away. We're going to have to get a minister of finance uh, initially, right? Okay. And then we're gonna get ourselves some good suits. That's and I mean, unless you're do. like you're you're you can't call somebody the minister of finance until you're like forming government, right? Like you need to them to be part of your cabinet. Like the minister of finance is like f from the leading party. So I mean, you would have to say that the, the parties, the Republican Party, is gonna be in charge, right? So you couldn't yeah. be the minister of finance unless the party's in charge. That's true. Yeah, and if you're running on like dissolving this, this guy's gonna like you could say this guy will be my minister of finance mm. when i'm when i'm like if i win the prime ministership then i'll make this guy minister of finance but he, like the thing is that like uh chris guy would also need to get elected at that point you know what i mean so yeah yeah for sure yeah like you can't just you can't be a minute like there's so many issues with this there's, i mean yeah we like to, to touch it it's just it's <laughs> like for, like it's funny how we're trying to logic or reason this out when it's like th these guys are just pulling shit out of their ass well i mean it's fun it's fun to i mean because because they're presenting this in a very serious official. yeah in a very serious manner yeah. like I this mean. makes me think of when i receive an email from a nigerian prince hmm and then I'm like, it, it'd be as if I was like, this oh. guy's obviously not a Nigerian prince. Look at his email address. It's not coming from a direct web server. Like, it's like, no, don't try to reason this out. Obviously, this is a scam. Like, hmm. So you're telling me those Nigerian prince emails aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> These infrastructure banks would get re-registered from Mr. Carbone to me, and I will be in charge of the entire Canadian banking system's expenses. So, imagine doing on the case of again and just let's say this is all true imagine maple syrup everywhere he's gonna <laughs> everybody gets free maple syrup you need a dude you need a loan to open up a maple syrup business yeah. you got it i don't know man every like uh every government establishment is gonna have a gym to work out in Yo, an bro. ATM, an ATM with a security guard out oh of yeah and, oh dude this is and you be... can vaccinate your pets there yeah. Well, yeah. Think of all the changes. But I, I'm. I was just thinking of uh, Chris as fin minister of finances. No, minister <laughs> of finances. <laughs> we could end this lockdown. Dude, that would be a good shirt for him. Like to like just <laughs> minister of finances. We could hold these people accountable because he's dumb. And they're absolutely terrified. And I'm gonna post this document to prove. Oh, they're terrified. Is 100 percent true. They're terrified. <laughs> I mean, come Trudeau, on! You're making me side with Trudeau Trump's here, or anybody else to try to prove anything I'm saying. He's probably they... imagine him watching this. Imagine Trudeau like seeing this. Wait, and going, no, this message is for us. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Or John Tory or anybody else to try to prove anything I'm saying is incorrect. They can't because, as usual, all I do is tell the truth. And ladies and gentlemen, in this case, the truth shall set you free. No, oh. I told you I was going to turn up the heat. And here we go. And this is the first of many things we got coming. I hope you guys first are First of many. I hope you're inspired. Oh, dude, are you ready be for to get your bank owned by fucking Chris Guy? Yeah. Uh, so, so okay. So, his his uh, prep, right? Like, I mean, so, like, he, he, uh, he started off by preparing himself for the attacks that he's going to get. And what he said was, you know. 
And ladies and gentlemen, and he tells the truth. The heat, and here we go. And this is the first. In no. this case, the truth shall just tell the truth. Because there as we usual, go. all I do is tell the truth is incorrect. They can't because as usual, all I do is tell the truth. So we won't be able to to counter any of the, what he says because, because all he does is tell the truth. Okay. All right. Good Fair argument. Enough. Okay. Well, let's look at the document that he showed us. We have okay. that, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So this is it. Uh, okay. So Twitter is so, stupid. I'm going to save it, but I'm going to pull it up here just so that we can see it much more closely. Or actually, let me see. Main screen. If I do this transition. Howdy. Okay, so now I have the thing right in front, uh, like uh, is just full screen there. Say something. Test. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, okay. Good I so. mean, basically, you can see here it's like a literary copyright, right? Yeah. It's just the copyright certificate of registration is what it says from. Yeah. Innovation Sciences. Oh, sorry, Innovation Sciences and Economic Development Canada. All right. Right. Now, it does state that it's um, the Infrastructure Bank, right? It states Canada Infrastructure Bank Act, which is the first thing. Yes. Uh, the title of the copyright is for the act, not for the bank. Act. Yes. And then there's all these random numbers, <laughs> SC2017, C20, S403, which are like, you know, legislative numbers that they put there. That if you like Google this bill, they're after the name when you Google it. So I'm sure that's where he got that from. And he just, um, it looks like it just, it's a literary copyright. So I, I don't know if he, um, copy wrote like the actual act. Um, I don't know if he just named some other like document that he wrote, the Canada Infrastructure Bank Act, and then those numbers. And, and then that's he what's copied that. Yeah, but it's yeah, it, but the it's category along those lines. Is, yeah, the category is literary, so it's like a, a, a literary work, right? So it's written. Yeah, so this doesn't translate into. Oh, imagine, dude. Imagine if that's what they think. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we own the banks, dude. Dude, I found this loophole where we could end up owning the banks, and we'll trick Trudeau into. Signing it off because it's you know it's that he thinks it's just a copyright, but really, what can he do after? We own it. We own, dude. We own the name. He can't even use the name. <laughs> um, I don't know. Someone said I don't know. I'm not a law lawyer. Someone said this could get like uh, very very litigious. It could get very <laughs> oh. ugly. Like I mean, yeah. He, so I was speaking with um. Like some this guy who works with the RCMP, he's a former like British officer. Um, he knows what he's talking about. Um, sent me a lot of information regarding this stuff, and uh, basically informed me that you know if this is being used to scam donations from people, um, that 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 could that would be illegal. Well, so uh, I mean, he's gonna get in trouble because he is. Very he does much. have a party, and now he's saying, well, this is part of... It's like making the party more legitimate, right? It's like, yeah. well, we own the banks. The, my finance minister controls the banks. It's like trying to make yourself look more legitimate using these documents, Yeah, um, which is fraudulent, right? That's a fraudulent yeah. use of, of your doc. So um, it's if he's... Yeah, if he's funneling donations, which, I mean, okay, so he's made videos. He's told us, look, we don't take donations, but then he's also... Um, you know, mentioned to others that, well, we might have to start taking donations from people <laughs> just because, like, they really want to help us out, right? They, yeah. they know what we're doing is important and they want to be part of it. So even if it that. hurts, even if it hurts to take money out of their pocket, they want to do that, right? They, it's like they it. insist, so we need to <laughs> Garbage give Garbage excuse. Yeah, yeah. Dude. It's like we have to allow them to donate. People are lining up outside my door begging to donate to my party. Yeah. It's not like I'm selling hats for $80 a piece. Mhm. Mm really if I was him and I really don't I really don't want to like 
poke a bear here, but uh, like if I like to the classy move really would be if you really don't want donations, um, you do okay, guys. I I hear that people are so eager to donate but, and uh, like, uh, here's, here's a thing, charity. Dude, but dude, he's selling merch, right? So yeah, well, yeah, that's he, true. Yeah. So he could just be like, hey, if you really want to donate, just buy like a hundred hats and give them to your friends. There, yeah, that's 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 yeah. I mean, there's that. That's I mean, that's the first thing. And, but also, <laughs> like, I mean, that's the first you know, thing. Yeah, I mean, you already have. That's that's like that's an option. Like, if somebody really wants to donate, he can just go to your merch page and be like, oh, I'll buy like. A hundred of your t-shirts his excuse and give it to all my friends. Yeah, his so that's publicity and donation. That's right. So it'll help the party even more. His excuse should have been, uh, listen, uh, I I really don't feel good taking money for nothing. So if you really want to support, go to the, the shop page, right, and support the us by, and and receive something in return. You know, that, I mean, because yeah. you already have the shop say that. Or no. he could have just said, Here's a charity that I really support. I mean, he's got he's got yeah. p things to support, man. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Like, I, I mean, he wants uh, he wants to vaccinate all pets. He could be like, just donate to this pet vaccination thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, now no the guy, so the the British officer that I, or the former officer that I was speaking to, who's now like a consultant here in Canada. Um, he uh, yeah, he deals with the RCMP, as I said, you know. So he he knows. Um, a lot about these like sovereign citizen kind of guys mm. and he's saying that this is going to become like a growing problem along with the covid thing because like we see these guys you know co-opting covid to kind of go through that right yeah now he also says that canada's vetting system is very bad when it comes to copyrights and that basically anyone can copyright anything like mm. they don't really um like check that that hard right so yeah. you might be thinking like like he might have actually just print like uh, copywritten the actual act, like the infrastructure bank act. Yeah. So maybe he actually did that. <laughs> yeah, he might have. So he might have a copyright for the act, like for the infrastructure bank act. But that would be as much as he has. Yeah, like it's not like it's still, okay. Like, so it's not like that gives him ownership of anything. It's no, just it's like okay. So you have a copyright of the act. So if the if anybody ever like uses the act, I guess you have royalties or something yeah if, if any, well that's know. the like, thing it's like there's no way like that's the there's no way to make money off of this document right and i feel also, like that's like, if they ever like if you ever tried to use that the government would be like no you can't like that's an act that we, yeah like it, it was already copywritten like this system isn't really the be all end all of copyright law like if anybody really knows what they're talking about when it comes to copyright law right like this system here is not everything you know what I mean? No. Um, like there, are, there is copyright. There are like there are copywritten materials on on like your web on people's websites. You know, you don't have to like register it with the like with the government or whatever, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think they just they're trying. I mean, and I don't know. So it's like it, that's what I mean. Like, so I feel like this is pretty like pretty ridiculous. Like, there's nothing you could really do with this. No, uh, like I said. Like he just, he basically, he just like, um, copy wrote like either the name of the act with something else written or like he might've copywritten the actual act, but regardless, it's meaningless. Yeah. So what does that say about Chris's claim? That, oh, that he's always right. No, that he's always telling the truth. Oh yeah. So that's what I meant. Yeah. So he's always telling the truth. <laughs> so I mean, what is it? I don't know. Now the thing is, I know Chris guy, like he's not the smartest guy, right? Hmm. So maybe Rob Carbone tricked him, you know? Well, Gave I mean, that's the document, thing. Told him like, hey, this means we own the banks. And then Chris Guy's like, really, dude? He goes, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I That's what I think. Yeah, I, I don't. I put this all on uh, Robert Carbone. Yeah. Cause yeah, like, that's yeah, what I'm that, saying. Because the way you just described it, I feel like that's what happened with Chris. For yeah. sure. He just he gave him this letter and he said, here, man, what? this means we own Canada's infrastructure banks. And he saw the title that was like yeah. Canada's Infrastructure Bank Act, like copyright. And he got super excited and he was like, oh, dude, what? Because, again, this is, again, why is it always, well, not always, but I mean, this here. Why did Chris Sky make this announcement? This is all Rob Carbone. Shouldn't yeah, Rob he Carbone? Made the he should have. But I mean, like, this is obviously retarded. He 
if well, I mean, he, he probably just thought like there's no way I can Chris. sell this to people. That's right. right? And if and because if he people... knows it's bullshit, but then he's like, I'm gonna convince Chris that it's real, and then he'll be able to sell it because he thinks it's real. And and if it's and if it go and it go if it goes flat, it all goes on Chris. I don't get any of the blame. I can say you know what if one I can see Rob one day going Chris, why uh, that's not what I said, son. Well, denouncing not not that, but just kind of like cause again, Chris. Maybe he's just he'll fall for this one as well. He'll go. Rob will go. Chris, that's not what I said when I told you that. <laughs> Remember that time Chris <laughs> called him when he was like uh, in an interview, and he's like, "Hey, you said somebody. You said you wanted somebody to call you." Oh, oh f- <laughs> just hangs up. Oh, that was Chris. Anyways, so uh, so that's that. That's the update. I think it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, either that. So I want to know if like they're gonna act on this. I want to see if that like their next move is like trying to do something. Like, imagine if you actually think you own the banks, dude. How are you gonna act? Like, but, what would your next move be? Yeah, but but not just that. Okay, so this is obviously ridiculous. But now you've already you've also shown like again, like you said, if you actually think this, you've shown your hand that you're trying ways. To own Canada's banks in a sneaky way, like I don't know, you'll you'll get in trouble here. Yeah. Now, like the the other thing is that like we've been is, um, entertaining it. Right? Yes. Yes. But at the end of the day, Canada's infrastructure bank is a crown corporation. Yeah. Justin Trudeau doesn't have the authority to just sell that to some fucking guy. <laughs> no. Like again, like, yes, just, oh, Rob Carbone, he fucking I'm just gonna sign the banks over to him, dude. You can't just do that. You can't. No, you can't. Even it's, the prime minister can't just fucking do that. No one can do that. Well, I mean, so no, I mean, not in Canada. Can't sign over a crown corporation. First of all, it's a crown corporation, which means that it goes above the head of Justin Trudeau, right? So yes. he could never sign this over. No, he uh, could never sign over the fact that, like, oh yeah, now now Rob Carbone, the Republican, owns the banks. Yeah, I'm this sure. billionaire. You know, if that was that easy, you know. Yeah, billionaire. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's uh, these. Are <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I do. You, do you? So, what do you think? Do you think he, Rob Carbone? Do you think he legit thinks he owns a bank, or do you think he? I don't just, think Carbone thinks that. He don't know. Okay, but I think Chris Guy might think that. Yes, yeah, and if Chris Guy thinks that, and then he's gonna be asking Rob Carbone, like, dude, why don't? Why aren't we doing something, dude? Don't we own the banks? Yeah, dude, it's gonna. Dude, this is gonna. Oh, there's going to be a lot of fun shit to cover. There's going to be new developments coming for sure. (laughs) So like, keep an eye out. I think I'm probably going to be writing an article about how ridiculous all these people are. Yeah. So we'll have some updates. Hopefully we get to, um, yeah, I mean, we got to keep an eye on these guys, right? Because like at this point, like this is just so blatantly false that it's like, you can't, you can't be trying to run a real political party now. No. No. It can't happen. Like there's there's a zero percent chance that like anyone will like in the future if you ever get any legitimacy, this is something that will play on like CBC. They'll be like, "Oh, dude, yeah. do, do you remember the time you pretended to own the infrastructure banks?" <laughs> Those, I mean, now and then you have to defend that. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like holy you're shit. just gonna look crazy to everyone. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't know if this is true, but apparently we got a guy in our comments for, for our videos. We got a guy. Apparently there was another Republican Party before him. Yeah, that was less. Yeah, he's saying the true Republican Party, the true Republican Party. And he doesn't really watch our videos because he thinks we're pro monarchy and whatever. So it's just yeah, like, even though Rob Carbone's the one who's pro monarchy. So I've I think I've determined like it's not an all, an all around into you know sorry global thing but i think canadian republicans are no good when now people... rob carbone he does he's, we could he could always change his mind though right cuz i have this this tweet here that says the rpc or it's not a tweet i guess it's from facebook but it's a screenshot it says the rpc will not register the party wait a stop minute stop asking this question the rpc right yeah. So he's saying that the RBC can still be on the ballot. See the link below, right? So this is an old screenshot I took okay. of a post from Rob Carbone. Um, yeah, said, stop asking. The is this, RBC will not. Is this right? after he said uh, that no, he was going before. for okay, before. So now he's saying he's going to register the party. So this is my point. Is like he says, you know, hey, stop asking. We're never doing this. And then like a couple months later, um, he folds. So 
I'm of thinking, us. I'm thinking, yeah, because we brought attention to it and his fans started uh, bugging him about it. Yeah. So anyway, I think uh, he could always change his mind on other stuff, right? Uh, apparently, he used to be progressive before he was Republican. So this guy, <laughs> uh, you, you never know what's going to come next. Yeah. Uh, salute, Rob Cabo. <laughs> Chunks of flabbing.